if you want to learn jazz and you've never transcribed a jazz solo before, like you don't necessarily want to start with John Coltrane or like Kenny Burrell, like that's going to be really hard and fast and complicated. Um, but, you know, if you start with like Louis Armstrong, if you go back to Lester Young, you know, these um, players that in that time period, a lot of the soloing was very like melodic and lyrical and, and simpler before bebop came around and made everything really fast and intense in a beautiful way. So, um, so that's one thing is like choosing things that are accessible or choosing like even excerpts of songs, like listen to a Louis Armstrong solo. And um, maybe there's like one part that's kind of a fast lick, but like, don't worry about that for now. Choose four bars or eight bars that you can sing along to that feels um, like you can, you know, somewhat memorize it after spending some time with it. Like you can, you can sing along to it. You can groove to it. it there's not too many surprises after a couple of listens. Then after you're um, feeling like you can sing along to it, then, then put it onto the guitar and see if you can figure out the notes. 